All right, so I'm Chris Kirsten here at the Savory Institute, and we're here in Costa Rica, and I'm here with the awesome Dr. Richard Teague from Texas A&M. Richard, tell us a little bit about what we're doing uh, these last few days here at this organization and, and what's happening and why it's so cool. We're concentrating on developing regenerative management of both cropping and grazing systems in order to get beyond trying to sustain already degraded systems and move in an area where we're going to improve matters that have been degraded in the past. And you and I went on a farm tour this morning. Tell me a little bit about the farm tour, what we saw, what excited you, um, what are the unknowns that we want to find out uh, as they kind of make their journey into holistic management and, and grazing here in the jungle, and uh, kind of what the next steps are in your opinion. We're at uh, a location in Costa Rica which has had very high rainfall and is a forest community with little patches of grass uh, interspersed and some orchard growing of tropical crops done in an organic manner. And we took a walk around the property this morning to try and consider the ecology of ecosystems like this and what we'd have to take care of with our management in order to look at when we've modified from a a forest situation which is the norm here and try either grazing or pure species uh, with uh, orchard cro uh, plants that are, that are cropped, uh, what we'd have to consider um, in our management to make sure that the ecosystem functions uh, were kept going as well as they could or improved if the need arose. And, and tell me a little bit about your work of research in holistic plan grazing and and what you've seen in the results uh, and what gives you hope uh, and how we better communicate that to the world. Most of the ecosystems that, that we as humans have, have worked in, we've degraded. So I don't believe in sustainability as much as uh, the need for regenerating ecosystem function in order to ge regenerate um, livelihoods. And what I've done since I arrived in this country 20 plus years ago was locate the leading conservation and um, award-winning ranches in order to answer the question, what is the best that management can do? First, you've got to manage the ecosystem very well and improve it where you can from a degraded situation. But you've also got to manage in a manner that is sound economically so that you're sustainable and that the people are happy with the way it manages. The holistic management people do this very well and just about everywhere I've gone the people that I've found to fit the criteria I've just mentioned happen to be holistic management farmers. So we're documenting the impacts, the positive impacts they're having on the land, ecosystem processes, their people and the earning capacity that uh, they have managed to improve. Awesome. Anything you want to say in closing? It's really important to deviate from the way science usually operates. Scientists operate by asking questions of parts of an ecosystem. But when you are managing a whole ecosystem, you have to understand how any part of it that has changed, for instance, cattle, the way they graze, impacts the whole environment and the people involved. And the only way you can study that is to study whole systems. So I go out and I study whole systems, farm systems, that are managed in different ways to try and find out, compared to what most people do, who is making a difference and improving things and how are they actually doing that. And uh, we put that together in a systems package um, and that is how we determine how you regenerate to get the best that management can offer. The normal way science is conducted can't get to that point. Awesome, thank you.